Okay, I think I figured out finally how to exploit uh, this uh, vulnerability. Uh, this is about shell shock. Uh, so let's say we have um, a file that we want to write out um, with shell shock. You see, my uh, HTTP user agent is shell shock, uh, which is basically just um, this command here where it outputs vulnerable to temp bar. Uh, so in this example here I've got that user agent and I um, reload the page but it is not there. The only way to get it there is to actually run oops sorry uh, um, so this is the Perl script so you have to have I think you have to have this um, as your as your environment otherwise it doesn't work so you have to run a script in CGI mode and then you know just outputting the user agent is not enough so it gets the environment variable and outputs it and um, that is not enough uh, see I can do it again just to be sure that's not enough uh, so I actually have to run this command which which is a command run in um, in Perl, uh, which uses a shell, and without this, it didn't even work. So I I don't know if anybody actually uses that. So if I do that, I, I look at that, uh, and then I'm finally vulnerable but only because I use the shell command where I appended bash c I can show you Oops. Um, what happens if I just assign the variable which is already crazy <laughs> um, so it's still there Not there. I do that, and it's still, still not there. Even though I've used the environment variable in a way that I would probably never use it. I, I don't. I don't know if there's a use case for this, to be honest. Um. Uh, the the way it actually does work. Oops is when you use bash as your as your CGI which is I don't know if anyone does that so if you go here uh, let's delete that again so that's not there so if I run this first of all I get a server error um, but that's fine uh, and then I get the vulnerable vulnerability there so uh, and I think it only happens if I run this command uh, let's try without it can't remember uh, so it's not there and I do that and then uh, yeah okay so if you use bash it actually works under any circumstances because it uses the environment uh, and an environment variable is the um, HTTP user agent so don't use bash <laughs> as your CGI I mean I, I don't know anybody who would use that but maybe maybe there are cases where that is used 
Okay, I think that's it. Um, I finally managed to create an environment where uh, it is vulnerable to shell shock. Um, but it was actually quite hard to create that environment, so I'm not sure if it's such a big issue. Okay, thank you. Bye.